of the situation become unbearable. I returned to St. Vincent's East Hospital uh, Ascension Health, uh, Birmingham, Alabama, United States of America. Uh, come on, guys. Uh, emergency Department on August 4th. Complaining uh, of these new symptoms, along with the, the old ones, because uh, they were not resolved. I saw Dr. Frederick Jones, MD. Uh, much more this time, the doctor wanted to do CT. Would contrast, take blood, I objected. Uh, CT would contrast that on grounds that it was invasive, i.e. poison, uh, from the radiation dose and the contrasting agent. Um, and I asked for an MRI. I was denied an MRI and told uh, St. Vincent's East only gives an MRI for stroke symptoms. I walked out based on this uh, previous experience. I went home, felt worse. An hour later, I returned to the emergency department uh, and agreed. Uh, was given a blood test, CT with contrast, IV was started. Asked if uh, they would examine the basilar area of my skull specifically. Uh, they said, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, blood test showed uh, white blood cell count 12.4 high. Yeah, it was high. Bilirubin was 1.89, also high. Uh, that number specifically uh, could have something to do with liver. My, my liver failed. Uh, that would be consistent with what was going on because... If my liver failed, uh, I'm not getting uh, the food that I'm eating is not being processed and the, the nutrients and the energy that's being broken down is going into the, the right areas in the, the right ways. Uh, this isn't secret information. So anyway, so yeah, the Internet's been around for 30 years, but doctors, uh, they claim that uh, this knowledge is uh, forbidden uh, for patients or common people uh, to possess, to learn, uh, to exclaim, uh, to proclaim. Guess what? We can learn stuff and we can use it also. This domain of the body, the d uh, domain of health, this isn't some exclusive area that only uh, the money, uh, the moneyed uh, class uh, can access. Uh, if you think so, this something needs to change. So hopefully we're going to change that. Um, Bill Rubin was high, uh, white blood cell count high, uh, consistent with a parasite infection. I was discharged and diagnosed with uh, leukocytosis, uh, a strain of uh, sternocleidomastoid muscle. Uh, Dr. Navid Zenus uh, and Donald Shane Kelly, MD, evaluated uh, the CT scan uh, with no acute findings found in the soft tissues. They both uh, gave that as their diagnosis. Um, Dr. Jones told me the blood results uh, could be an infection. Uh, I was refused antibiotics. I asked for antibiotics. Uh, I was told they got to do more tests. Uh, told more tests were needed, uh, but they didn't volunteer to do those tests. Uh, I had a real serious issue, and they uh, just told me I need to go see a regular doctor uh, for a checkup.